In his first visit to neighboring Ukraine since Russia's invasion, Hungary's Viktor Orban recommended an immediate ceasefire. With just a couple of weeks until the vote on the EU's most powerful jobs, questions are being raised about whether Italy will be isolated. Roughly seven tons of waste was removed from Hungary's Lake Tisza. Turkey and the Netherlands book the last tickets for the Euro 2024 quarterfinals. The tournament will resume on Friday with the first two games of the next round. Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Ukraine's relationship with Hungary will be completely different after the Prime Minister, Viktor Orban, made his first visit since Russia's full-scale invasion. Orban is widely seen as having the best relations with Russian President Vladimir Putin among European leaders and has routinely blocked EU efforts to extend assistance to Ukraine. On Tuesday, he told Zelensky that the war was Europe's most important issue and recommended an immediate ceasefire. The meeting has been attracting reaction from Europe and beyond, with the US ambassador to Hungary saying it's a positive sign of progress between the two countries. The United States recognizes that Prime Minister Orban has traveled to Kyiv. We think that is a positive sign of progress, and we look forward to learning more about the discussions as they unfold. Orban's visit came just one day after Hungary took over the six-month rotating presidency of the EU, a position that has little real power but can be used to set the tone of the bloc's agenda. At least 116 people have been killed and dozens injured after a stampede at a religious gathering of thousands in northern India. According to local media, the crash happened when attendees rushed to leave a makeshift tent following an event with a Hindu leader. Initial reports suggested over 15,000 people arrived for the event, which only had permission to host about 5,000. The new prime minister wasn't on the ballot, and the four leaders who were will remain in parliament. On the street, their swearing in is met by ambivalence. Ja, eigenlijk geen idee. Ik heb ook niet gestemd, dus uh, mij is het volledig voorbij gevlogen. Eigenlijk gewoon afwachten. Het is vandaag de installatie. Ik weet nog niet wat het allemaal wordt. Ik vind uiteindelijk wel dat uh, we in een democratische samenleving leven en het volk heeft uh, dit besloten. Others, like this Syrian immigrant, are worried about Geert Wilders' anti-Islamic rhetoric. I see that the people are afraid from their decisions, so I need. I hope, every, I hope everything will be okay. Polling shows that 42% of the Dutch have faith in the government, up from 29% two years ago. Now people are excited that there is a cabinet after 221 days of negotiations. At the same time, there's a little bit of uncertainty around this cabinet because the cabinet is based, uh, the, is based on a six-pager of framework. This framework has to, over the summer, be developed. And only then we will actually know what these ministers will do in terms of policies for the Netherlands in the upcoming four years. There are concerns how long this government will remain in power with an apolitical leader seen as beholden to Wilders and three parties who are joining government for the first time. The new government will present its full plans and budget in September. There are high hopes for this government, especially from supporters of Geert Wilders' Party for Freedom and the Farmer Citizens Movement. Trust in government among the working class, from which most of their supporters come, has actually doubled. However, those people are going to want to see some of those promises become reality. For example, these four parties have promised that they will enforce the strictest migration policy ever, but in order for that to work, they'll have to go to Brussels to renegotiate. And whether an opt-out will be on the table, that remains to be seen. This is Fernand Van Tetz, reporting for Euronews, Amsterdam. 
France's far-right leader Marine Le Pen said the national rally will only take the helm of government if they win an absolute majority. Prime Minister candidate Jordan Bardella and his far-right party were strengthened by success in the first round of voting in the French legislative elections last weekend, with the final deciding vote being cast this Sunday. Il est évident que nous ne pouvons pas euh, accepter d'aller au gouvernement si nous ne pouvons pas agir. Ça, ce, que, ce que nous demandent nos électeurs, c'est de changer euh, la politique qui est menée. Si on ne peut pas la changer et si on, on accepte euh, euh, d'aller au gouvernement uniquement pour être assis euh, dans un fauteuil de ministre, mais pour ne pas pouvoir agir, ce serait, je crois, la pire des trahisons que nous pourrions euh, faire à l'égard de nos électeurs. French President Emmanuel Macron's centrist party and a hastily united left-wing coalition are manoeuvring to prevent the far-right national rally from taking power in the country's parliament. Despite the alliance against the far-right, Bardella could profit from public resentment towards Macron. His lack of experience and even competence should be a deterrent for voters. Um, there seems to be such a huge detestation of Emmanuel Macron and his politics right now, that voters think there is a chance to change that, to really shake the system. And people who are disaffected by current politics as they were done think, well, we've not tried this. Candidates faced a deadline to register for the second round of high-stakes snap legislative elections or withdraw. If united, they might yet block the national rally's path to power this weekend. With about 10,000 athletes parading on more than 90 boats along Paris's 6-kilometer River Seine, French River Police have been training on the city's river ahead of the Olympic Games opening ceremony later this month. About 220,000 invited spectators are expected to fill the upper tiers of the river's banks and another 100,000 paying spectators will watch from the lower riverside around the Trocadero Plaza. A large police operation is planned for the event. We are particularly proud to be able to ensure the security on the river of the Jeux Olympiques 2024 de Paris. For this, we are training. The training is not only related to the Jeux Olympiques, but it is a training of long haleine. It is our daily life. All the mornings of the Brigade Fluvial are dedicated to the training, as well as in pilotage, in plunge. Euh, qu'en âge et euh, voilà tout ça pour être euh, au mieux euh, pour cette, euh, cette cérémonie d'ouverture qui se tiendra sur la scène et ensuite pour les épreuves nautiques que nous sécurisons. Paris's police chief plans to deploy around 30,000 police officers every day. This will rise to 45,000 for the opening ceremony on the River Seine. The event is expected to transform Paris and its iconic landmarks into a giant stage. Maxims Ringo and Janice Locks became the first Latvian same-sex couple to register their partnership on Monday, shortly after midnight when a new law came into force. Now, all partnerships will be able to register their relationship under it. The Latvian parliament voted last November to formally legislate same-sex civil unions. After 46 same-sex couples successfully challenged courts to get recognized as a family unit in the eyes of the law. Tas nekā tā vēsturiski ir svarīgi, tas arī tā patiešām fundamentāli svarīgi Latvijas sabiedrībai tiesībām atzīt, ka cilvēki ir dažādi, attiecības ir dažādas, bet viņas visas ir vērtīgas un visas ir jāizsargā. A partnership will be registered if the persons are not married, are not close relatives in the direct line, are not brothers, sisters, half-brothers and half-sisters and have not registered another partnership. More than seven tonnes of plastic waste has been collected from Hungary's Lake Tisza as part of a historic clean-up competition. The teams, called Pet Pirates, sailed on the artificial lake's high seas with kayaks and makeshift boats to gather the waste. The more plastic they accumulated, the closer they inched to winning the Pet Cup. Legalább három tonna szemét van azon a hajón, amit most mindenki élő láncban pakol ki, és ez a rengeteg szemét csak ma reggel óta gyűlt össze. 
While the collected waste is sorted by colour and material, volunteers are always amazed by the kind of trash they find. Most is egy nagyon-nagyon sok szemét volt, nádat széthúztat, felhúztad a száraz nádat, és alatt volt egy rakat színbe vég a szemét. The Pet Cup started in 2013 with the aim of ridding Hungary's most magnificent natural wonders of garbage. Pet pirates will captain clean up operations at the polluted Bodrog floodplain in August. The Euro 2024 round of 16 is finally complete and Turkey are the last team to book a ticket for the final eight. Meri Demiral sent the Turks into the quarter-finals thanks to a brace that knocked Austria out 2-1. Austria nearly found the equaliser in the second half, but a stunning save by Mert Gunok kept the Turks on top. Turkey will now be facing the Netherlands on Saturday after the Dutch defeated Romania 3-0. The orange team pulled off their best performance in the tournament so far. Cody Gakpo found the net again to become the Euro 2024 joint top scorer, before Daniel Malen scored twice to seal a blistering display. The next round will kick off on Friday with Spain, Germany and France, Portugal, followed by Netherlands, Turkey and Switzerland, England on Saturday.